Hey guys, so today I want to take a look at some more kind of renders here of how the software could look on a, on a potential Galaxy S5 device. Uh, so he's on KMOC, which has made this amazing uh, concept for the Samsung Galaxy S5 and uh, also for the Galaxy Note 4. I made videos about that. Uh, pretty amazing guy. He's on KMOC, he made those uh, kind of renders and uh, now he has made a render uh, of like a future version of TouchWiz. Uh, so of course TouchWiz is a software that Samsung is using uh, on on top of, of Android, so this is uh, uh, renders of uh, like a TouchWiz 5 version. Uh, so you can see here, this is first of all his render of the Galaxy S5 that I did uh, went over in another little video, but you can see this brand new uh, like render of how a, a concept TouchWiz could look like. And first of all, the Galaxy S5 here looks amazing, look like that metallic uh, material on the bottom and also the top of the phone, uh, pretty amazing stuff. Uh, you can also follow this guy on Google+, Plus, uh, so uh, that's pretty great, but uh, let's take a look at TouchWiz right now. So you can see that TouchWiz looks a little bit different, you can't see this notification area uh, at the top, uh, they have like changed, uh, rearranged uh, how that looks on the lock screen, it seems like you kind of like tap uh, on your name, you can kind of see your name there uh, on the lock screen and then either you drag down or you tap on it and then you'll be able to see missed calls or emails or any new things that uh, has been happening. You can also see that he added that uh, now when you don't have that notification area you can still see uh, kind of like the battery and if you're running on Wi-Fi uh, and, and some cool things like that. Uh, you can see he has a brand new like wallpaper here uh, and then uh, also if you take a look at the, this right side it, it looks a little bit more clean more a little bit more clean than uh, Samsung's touch with uh, at the moment especially up here at the top uh, you, with uh, not even a transparent little thing there but it's just very very minimalistic design uh, he also has some other pictures here uh, that uh, probably is a little bit more uh, close up so let's take a look at them here. Uh, you can see that he have added, so you do kind of have the Play Store is up here at the top with the search bar. And I mean, I use the search bar all the time, uh, so nice Google integration here. Also, you can tap on this to get some voice assistance here. I'm not sure if that would bring you to S Voice or, or, or something else. Uh, but uh, I mean, of course, it's not a major, major difference, but I definitely do enjoy this area here with notifications. Uh, this area looks pretty amazing with even a more of like a clean interface up here at the top, even more clean than what they are having right now, Samsung. Uh, so it looks amazing here with toggles for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, uh, rotation uh, and a bunch of other things. It would actually be cool to see this uh, concept here with some other wallpapers in the background. Uh, you can also see that he have uh, made a concept here for uh, Samsung's own S Voice, uh, which looks now a little bit more like Siri, uh, which uh, kind of has this like uh, play, uh, just a little more clean in terms of its user interface. Uh, the S Voice that uh, Samsung is using right now doesn't really look that great. Uh, it looks a little bit old actually, so a new UI on top of that that is a little bit more like uh, Apple with and their iPhones with Siri, uh, especially with iOS 7, uh, that's something that I definitely want to see. Here you can also see another clean little picture here of just the home, uh, the home page there. So uh, yeah, just a quick little look here at some pictures. Uh, I, gotta like, I gotta say I kind of enjoy it actually. Uh, so um, yeah, we'll have to, just have to wait and see what Samsung is going to do uh, with the TouchWiz and the new Galaxy devices here, 2014. Have a great day.